What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it has been a long time coming, and it's been a long time since I actually did a video, and I actually have another video explaining why this is. However, it is Zer Day, and Zer is located on uh, IO, and he is by this wonderful area in the Giant Scar. So let's go see what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? Looks like you really got people here, man. So, we are going to go ahead and start with the left-hand side first. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Lord of Wolves. It's an exotic shotgun. Then we have the Stompies for the Hunter. Dude Monsters for the Titan, as well as the Sanguine Alchemy for the Warlock. We're going to go ahead and start with the Lord of Wolves first. Turns a perk on this is Shrapnel Launcher, which fires a powerful short-range burst of solar damage. Then we have Chambered Compensator, Extended Mag, Release the Wolves, which when you hold square to swap to a longer, more powerful burst. And then we also have Composite Stock. And this actually has a Catalyst, I just don't have it. Now if you guys don't have this, it is a decent exotic to use even now in PvP, but more so I would probably use it in PvP before I even bring it into PvE. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a tier 2.0 in PvP but probably a tier three in PVE. There are better weapons to use than the Lord of Wolves. If you guys don't know the tier scale, I will put it down in the description box below. Next, we have the Stompies. Oops, intrinsic perk on this is Hydraulic Boosters, which increase sprint speed and slide distance, improves high jump, strafe jump, and triple jump. If you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It's definitely good in PvE as well as PvP, especially since this thing has plus 18 mobility. Oh my god, that is amazing. Definitely go ahead and grab that. Um, it's really good in PvP as well as PvE. It's definitely going to be a tier uh, 1.5 to tier 2 in PvP, but definitely a tier 2 in PvE. Next, we have the Dune Marchers. Turn to perk on this is Linear Actuators, which increase sprint speed. Sprinting builds up a static charge. After melee attacking an enemy, that charge will chain damage to nearby enemies. And this also has a uh, high mobility, so definitely go ahead and grab that. But it also has a high strength, which is pretty interesting as well. So definitely go ahead and grab this if you do not have it. It's definitely good in PvE as well as PvP. Probably going to get a tier 2 in both. And last but not least, we have the Sanguine Alchemy for the Warlocks. Trying to perk on this is Heightened Senses, which standing in a rift grants you and your allies Heightened Senses, allowing you to retain your radar while aiming down sights. Additionally, nearby powerful enemies are visually marked and can be tracked without line of sight. Pretty good. Now, this definitely does have a uh, plus 12 in mobility as well as plus 12 in intellect, so definitely go ahead and grab this. Um, I probably would use this more in PvP than I would PvE. But in PvP, it definitely gets a tier 2. In PvE, it's probably going to get a tier 3 to 3.5. Then we come down here is your consumables, which is your Nightfall Challenge card. And coming down here, we have your invitations. This week is the High Priestess. And last but not least, we have your um, Exotic Engram. And this is worth 97 Legendary Shards. If you do not have one of these, go ahead and grab these first before you pop the Exotic Engram. But let's see what we get this week for our Exotic Engram. Ooh. So, real quick, I have not played Destiny 2 since, well, this last Season of Dawn actually started. And I am very, very sad to say. However, one thing I have noticed is that this little glitch right here for the lost items has not been fixed yet, which is a shame. Um, but coming over here, we have the Bombardiers. And this is a new exotic to me. I do not know what it does. I've never read it before. However, Armor Perks. Treasure Perk on it is Parting Gift which dodging leaves behind an explosive that detonates after a short delay, damaging enemies around it. Wow, that's pretty interesting. 
Uh, it has a plus 17 mobility, plus 11 discipline, and a total of uh, 49. I'm definitely going to keep this thing. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.